Astrology. What is it? Is there truth to it? Is this something that you should look to to guide your life, to guide the decisions you make, to, to help you improve the state of your life? Or is it completely false, actually demonic, and something that you should extremely take care and stay away from? Well, basically, astrology is the study of how the planets interact with our consciousness. It's how the planets, the, the rotation of the planets around the earth and the distance they are from us, how it interacts with our consciousness, our emotions, our life, and who we are at a soul level. So people, when they go through an astrology reading, will get a natal chart. This is the chart of the planet's locations at the exact time in which you were born. The exact day, the exact year, even the hour and the minute. It'll tell you which planets were moving away from the Earth in retrograde, where they were on the 360 degree axis in relation to the Earth. It'll tell you things about the Sun, which actually most people when they say, oh, I'm a Cancer, I'm a Libra, I'm a Leo, that's just their Sun sign. Then you have a Moon sign. Then you have all the signs for every other planet. Then you have houses too. There's, there's, there's a lot more to astrology than just one sign, your horoscope, what, what have you. And there's even spirits and entities involved that people communicate with that you have a sign attached to an entity like Lilith. But the natal chart will tell you, oh, you're a very generous person. You're a very loving and, and quiet person. And you're meant to, in this lifetime, pursue a degree in more of a research analytical field and that you are going to, uh, most, you're most compatible with a partner who's very fiery and energetic and outspoken. And it'll tell you all these things about your life, who you're meant to be, what your destiny is, um, who you were even in past lives, because the entire concept of astrology is built around the concept of reincarnation. So there you go. You know, the Bible says it's appointed for man once to die, then the judgment. There is no reincarnation, folks. But if you believe in astrology, you believe that you continue progressing and learning specific life spiritual lessons in your soul to progress to higher levels. So you'll continue through the signs. You'll start at one degree. That means you're very young in that sign. If you're a one degree cancer, you're very young as a cancer and you need to learn what the cancer sign needs to learn. Then you'll move on to the next sign once you hit 30 degrees because there's 12 horoscope signs. There's 12 astrological zodiac signs that are 30 degrees each to sum up to a total of 360 degrees. So the natal chart is very complex. There's people who study this astrology and horoscopes for you know, thousands of years. There's truth to astrology. There's truth to astronomy. Like I said, one of the truths is that women are intimately connected with the lunar cycles. Physiologically, women go through their menstrual cycles according to the lunar cycles that the moon undergoes. There is truth to the planetary objects affecting our consciousness, affecting our bodies. But does it go to the extent that, hey, you're meant to do this career, or this is your personality, or this is who you should marry? No, that's completely demonic. That has no basis in reality. That has no basis in fact or science. And it's extremely superstitious. Extremely superstitious. But it gives people a feeling that they know who they are, that they're connected to the universe, that they're intimately tied with the planets and the solar system and the cosmos. You know, it feels amazing to be a, a human, not just on earth, who, who loves nature, who loves the ocean, who loves the mountains, who loves, you know, being connected to the earth, but you're connected to the cosmos, the great reality, and you're in tune with the planetary frequencies and their effect on your consciousness and your life. And you feel like you're this, you know, divine, spiritual, enlightened being connected to the universe and looking at all these other people who are just going to work and wearing, you know, a suit and a tie and not knowing the great cosmos that they're in, involved in. So it lures you in through that. It lures you in and then you start looking at these horoscopes literally every morning thinking this is how I need to live my day because the planets are in these locations. You're watching weekly updates, daily updates, monthly updates. What are the planets doing right now? How can I take advantage of this to improve my life, to um, choose the right partner, to 
get into the right business, to be financially blessed. You start thinking that these are indicators that you need to keep up to date on to tap in to the universal consciousness. And this is when it gets extremely dangerous because ladies and gentlemen, you're putting your destiny in the hands of these horoscopes. You're putting your destiny in the hands of this app that tells you today, don't get into a contract. Mercury's in retrograde. You do not want to get into any long-term commitments today or this month until it's out of retrograde, until it's going towards the earth, not away from the earth. You do not want to get into contracts. So you'll literally turn down contracts if you believe this. You'll literally turn down job offers saying, oh, no, it's not what the universe wants for me today. It's not the, what the universe wants. I want to be aligned with the universe. And your life will get steered by these things. It gives people a sense of security, a sense of identity, a sense of hope, a sense of knowledge, intellect that is extremely dark, extremely deceptive, and extremely sad in where it takes them. And I haven't even addressed the part of the literal entities and demons that are worshipped in astrology. There's something called the Lilith sign. Now, for those of you who know who Lilith is, Lilith is an actual demon, an actual being. People worship this being in astrology to be blessed, to learn about their soul, to learn about what they're meant to do, what they're meant to work through, certain emotions and traumas they're meant to heal from. So they make literal little rituals and stuff for these beings to come and guide them as their soul progresses through the zodiac signs to activate their soul and their consciousness to a higher vibrational frequency. Now I'm using terms that you might not have never heard in your life. And a lot of people in astrology haven't even heard these things, but you get deeper in, trust me, you'll hear these things like every single day, every article you read. This is the this is the the zeitgeist, the global cultural consciousness around these topics these buzzwords these terms this is the new age guys this is the new age it sounds whoa so scientific so spiritual so ancient so connected to the universe this is totally the truth because no humans have ever been like this in the history of mankind and that we're inventing the internet and we're inventing cars we're inventing all these incredible technologies and we're also inventing the true spiritual doctrines that we're meant to follow you know you feel like you're on the frontier the the, 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 the front end, the tip of the spear of humanity's progression spiritually. Astrology is intertwined with all this. Astrology is a huge fundamental aspect of it. But if you get to the core, if you get to the foundation, if you ask, okay, where's the end? If you keep cycling through and you keep going through the signs, learning the same things over and over again, where does it end? If you truly have that many lifetimes, where does it end? It doesn't end. And that's a very basic fallacy to the entire concept of astrology. Now, like I said, there are some truths to the way that the planets interact with us, with our consciousness, with our bodies, with the earth even, the tides, the moon, the gravitational pull, the low tide and the high tide, but not to the extent where just based on the day you were born, you now know exactly who you are as a person and what you're meant to do. No, you find that in Jesus Christ. Hearing the voice of the creator of the entire universe is going to guide you into your destiny. Not the voice of these horoscopes and these little blog writers telling you what you need to do. That's what it is. These little blog writers who feel like they're astrologers. And if you get deeper in, you're really into astrology and you're into human design and all these different things. And you're very deep. Okay, you've researched. Even then, where's the source of your information coming from? Where is the source of your information that Venus has anything to do with love? Mercury. Mars has anything to do with war. These are pantheonic ideas that come from all the different religions, the Greek pantheon, the Roman pantheon of gods and goddesses, all the different characteristics they have. Hinduism is the same thing. They worship these planets that have emotional and character traits associated with them. No. It goes right back to the old pagan religions. That's where astrology comes from. And if you're in astrology, I really urge you to ask yourself, why am I basing my life on what this app or what these websites are telling me about who I am? 
It might sound super cool. It might sound amazing where you're intertwined, you're connected to the universe, but you're worshiping the creation. You're looking at the creation and not the creator. There's someone who made all the planets. There's someone who made the earth. There's someone who made all the stars, the galaxies, the black holes, every single thing that we see in this existence. There is somebody who made this. And he came in the form of a man, Jesus Christ. He literally resurrected. And you can communicate with him today. You can hear his voice and walk in the truth. You can find who you truly are, your identity, the emotions that you do need to work through, the traumas that you do need to work through, the things about who you are, the sins and the, 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 the evil that still might be in your heart, the, the character traits, the flaws you need to work through. This will be revealed by the Holy Spirit, not by these astrology readings, not by these tarot cards, not by these psychics, but by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. So I urge you, pursue the word, pursue the Bible, get educated on these things. If you have friends who are in astrology, who just constantly are talking about astrology, posting on Instagram everywhere, astrology horoscopes, try and warn them. Try and just lead them closer to the Lord. Lead them closer to Christ. Don't just completely go off on them. That's demonic, that's demonic, that's demonic. Actually ask them the questions. Engage in a discussion. Try and learn something from them too. Why do they like it? Why are they into it? Engage in the discussion. Ask them where is the end if you continue progressing over and over through the signs. Have a deep, knowledgeable discussion about it. And the cracks will be exposed. They will realize that the foundation that they're laying their lives upon is faulty, is weak, and is not based in truth, especially when you discuss in a reasonable way. That's my take on astrology. That's a general, very basic introduction to astrology. I urge you to do more research if you're interested in this topic and the way that it's affecting people and the church and the new age. But subscribe, like, post a comment if you have any questions on this video and have a very, very blessed day.